we really do believe that Bitcoin is, and each one, one of these world words is important, it is the first global, uh, private, no government oversight, rules-based, critical, rules-based, digital monetary system ever. And it's a very big idea. We think, uh, we think that uh, the entire crypto asset ecosystem, and we think most of the crypto assets you have heard about out there will disappear. There will only be a few uh, for different reasons. That ecosystem in 2030, we think, will be a $25 trillion ecosystem. Right now, it's a little over $1 trillion. We think that the biggest idea out there is, is Bitcoin. At the COSM 2024 conference, the CEO of ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, presents her visionary outlook on Bitcoin and the wider cryptocurrency market, anticipating a massive shift in financial systems as we know them. To her, Bitcoin represents one of the most disruptive innovations in history, as it challenges traditional monetary systems and paves the way for a decentralized future. With Bitcoin and altcoins getting more popular through the years, Kathy predicts that by 2030, cryptocurrencies will be worth a jaw-dropping $25 trillion. In the conference, Kathy goes over the main pillars of the current technological revolution. These include artificial intelligence, energy storage, robotics, genomic sequencing, and blockchain technology. These are considered the driving forces behind the future, with blockchain leading the way to global crypto adoption. Now, let's tune in to Kathy Wood as she discusses how these technologies are gradually becoming the dominant forces in our modern world. While watching, we encourage you to show your support by giving us a like. Consider subscribing to the channel for daily updates on the latest crypto and finance news. Thanks and enjoy. As I mentioned, we're at the threshold of the most um, disruptive uh, period uh, for, for uh, innovation or caused by innovation that the world has ever seen. And the 14 technologies that you see here are the reason why. These 14 uh, technologies are involved in um, these five platforms. So these are five innovation platforms evolving at the same time. This has never happened in history. The closest we've gotten to this is the early 1900s, when three innovation platforms evolved at the same time. Back then, it was telephone, electricity, and the internal combustion engine. Completely transformed the world. Today, we're talking about these five. So the five major platforms are robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, and multi-omics sequencing. Um, we have, uh, in, the last, in the last 20 years, we were fighting in the financial markets. Now, I know a lot of you are, venture, are in the venture world, you're, you're entrepreneurs, and you, you may not relate to this, but what we are fighting in the public equity markets is this notion, and have been fighting, that uh, grow, exponential growth, rapid growth, cannot be sustained. And, um, uh, and that is because uh, we've been in a linear growth world for so long, where you do have a burst of activity, and then, the, and then it decays down to the GDP growth rate. In the tech and telecom bubble, we first heard the expression exponential growth. Growth sustained, say 20 to 30% growth sustained uh, for years. And many people thought that was going to happen. Uh, and that's how we got the tech and telecom bubble. We had too much capital chasing too few opportunities too soon and it ended badly. Now the seeds for these five major innovation platforms were planted during the 20 years that ended in the tech and telecom bubble. And uh, they have been germinating ever since. Uh, they weren't ready, because the technologies were not ready during the tech and telecom bubble. We didn't get the cloud until 2006. We didn't get uh, deep learning uh, out of ImageNet until 2012. 
Uh, we didn't get the other big breakthrough in artificial intelligence uh, transformer architecture until 2017-18. We were not ready for prime time uh, back then. So here are these technologies, these technologies, again, the seeds were planted back then, they are ready for prime time now, and investors are running away. They're running for the hills. What are the hills? They're benchmarks. Kathy Wood believes that these technologies will soon revolutionize global systems and practices. She thinks they will continue to grow in the years ahead. In fact, she previously predicted that Bitcoin could reach over $1.5 million within the next five years. ARK supported this prediction by noting a higher hash rate, long-term holder supply, and addresses with a non-zero balance compared to previous downturns. Recently, Kathy raised her prediction to $3.8 million due to increased institutional adoption driven by spot Bitcoin ETFs and the recent Bitcoin halving event. With that, let's return to Kathy Wood for more of her insights. GDP growth. Uh, as, as you can see from this chart, through history, technology has caused leaps in GDP growth. And you can see from... I think it was 1400 to 1900, or 1500 to 1900, uh, the world was growing about 0.6, this is real GDP growth, 0.6% um, uh, percent per year. And then those three platforms I mentioned earlier, uh, telephone, electricity, internal combustion engine, of course, transistor, uh, um, uh, computers, internet, uh, then that catapulted us into a 3% GDP growth world. The consensus view going forward is that GDP is going to downshift. We completely disagree. And we believe that we, we should see a greater growth um, increment than we saw uh, in the period, uh, in the last period. So that was fivefold. Which, which would take us to 15%, but we didn't want to seem completely crazy. So we, uh, we put 8% uh, out there. But, you know, it doesn't make any sense that GDP growth should slow down given all of the innovation that is evolving right now. And the other thing that makes no sense is that inflation will remain a problem. There are two, two camps right now on inflation. One, and many of you, Stanley Druckenmiller has been interviewed a few times, so you've probably heard him on, um, on Bloomberg or CNBC, beloved <laughs> CNBC. Uh, and he's very much in the higher for longer inflation. We're in the 70s. This is intractable. Look at the wage negotiations, the UAW, the, the auto companies, the airlines, 10% per year, 6% per year. And uh, our answer to that is many of these industries are going to be disrupted, disintermediated, and perhaps destroyed. And so what will happen is that those wage gains will end up crushing margins. This is not going to be pushed through into inflation. Uh, and uh, if anything, we believe that we're going to enter a period of deflation. Now, I know deflation sounds scary. It sounds scary because of 08, 09. Uh, everyone was talking about a deflationary bust back then. And it was horrifying. And, you know, it, it, it was terrifying in, in many ways. Um, because there was uh, almost a complete uh, financial meltdown. That's not what we're talking about right now. There's good deflation and there's bad deflation. I just gave you an example of what bad deflation will be. Companies that have not invested aggressively enough uh, to move into the new age, and they're going to be disruptive, uh, disrupted, creative destruction. Um, the good deflation is what I described before. Those learning curves uh, causing cost declines, which are passed through to prices, uh, which, uh, which will cause booms, booms, absolute booms in these technologies and in productivity. And the virtuous cycle that we're going to see 
is, is going to be astounding. Now, uh, many of you know that CNBC has called me Crazy Kathy. And you may think that now too, but we really believe what I just said because we're doing the research. We're doing the research that very few people out there are doing because they just don't believe it. They don't believe it. And, uh, and, and they also don't believe you should do much from the top down. Uh, and that became, that became uh, a kind of the mantra as I was growing up in the business. Which of the five technological pillars discussed by Kathy Wood do you think will have the biggest impact on our future? Share your insights in the comment section below. If you found some value in today's video, we would appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button. Lastly, if you would like to be updated with all of our future updates, please tick that notification bell. Your support encourages us to create more content on the latest relevant news in crypto. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you in our next video.